Hey guys, treat time for you. I've just found this. I had a feature tool to watch today, and I just saw this. And he's running a Cosmomium in a in an ice deep, and using that ability to block flame energy. And he's got the Weavon in there to to block the sphere, so the ice shard can smash the sphere plate. So this could potentially shatter the fire decks the whole reason why ice isn't can't work against the fire but if this could work i mean you could potentially do this with jellyfish but with the jellyfish you don't go into ultra space if you had a circuitry you could potentially do this i don't have a circuitry i'd definitely run this if i had a circuitry and i don't have a second cre cream cre cream cream um Anyway, I think this is a terrible move here, how he just dropped the, the, uh, Cosmomium, Cosmomium, but, yeah, and I, I think this is a little bit pointless how he popped the lawnmower then, I would have waited before he popped the lawnmower personally, um, he did it so he can get the full grasp buff, and so his Trev can move 2 MP, but, I, I think I would have rather saved it until I needed it. That's just the type of player I am, though. Although it does get his Loma on the field, so... You've got to give and take. So, he popped his Phantom, and this guy, Blob, love Blob's deck and the way he runs this. Man, I really want a Frostlass. Frostlass is amazing. The double Destiny Bond, though. Oh. And he just pushes it up, and now Frostlass is a grass. Even though, even though the the lawnmower plate has worn off, Frostlass will stay a grass and continue to buff. So it's pretty cool to see him use it like like this, the lawnmower to get get the old um, Trev to MP to turn more things grass to get more buffs. That's that's pretty cool. So. He goes for the attack and gets iced. If, if he hit Blizzard, frozen everything around him, that would have been swapped onto Gore right there. And he swaps it down so Cream can't attack it. The Ice Shard, though. Oh, for the miss. If that was Freeze, though, if, if that was Freeze, he would have been stuck there and in massive trouble. So... As, as long as he was rolling, it doesn't matter that he missed or not. Well, he could have knocked it out with Ice Shard without a miss. But he turns the Vulpix to grass. And so I like both of these guys' decks, to be honest. Um, but I definitely like the way Blob runs this version of an ice. So he pulls Cosmo Meme out and he just blocks. He's like, I don't want you to move that up. Is that going to be blocking your entry? Hits the Glaciate, and he's like, oh. If he didn't hit the Glaciate, then he still, the, the the Ice Blob still could have moved up and swapped Cream for the other Cream, and then Gold Blocked. But now he's got two 1 MP Mons, he blocks it off, and he moves Tappy Bully down, but doesn't. Tappy must have forgot about the whole tapping and removing. Ah. Uh, so he goes here defensive, he moves the, the Weavile up, he wants to go attack that goal, freeze the goal, put, put pressure on it that way. Mmm, mmm, gets the freeze, and now this guy is just like, replace it, just like I said before. And now he's like, I'm going to threaten your goal. And here, that's a wasted move, because his Cosmomium can't reach the goal in time. He might as well just left it there and goal blocked it. But... But I wasn't expecting this. He gold blocks with Frostlass. I was like, oh, that's actually a really good choice. Because if he can freeze that, then the opponent's in massive trouble. But the tropical energy coming in dangerously. And he just goes for the max revive surround. And now he's like, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Gets the, the, gets the marker off. But then he comes back to attack. Doesn't get the freeze. And this is where he could get in, Blob could get into trouble. And this is where Freeze Dex can get into trouble. I think that was a misplay right there. Mm, he gets lucky. His opponent hits the miss though. If, 
if he moved down and attacked and covered his other entry, I think that's what the better play would have been. But Volpus gets a freeze. He moves over. It can't unfreeze because Cream's on the corner. Mmm. Good plays, good plays. Now he goes for the switch, and he can freely switch out even onto the goal because Volpus is off the field. So, oh, that, ten. that 10 on Cosmo, man. So, there, there that goes. There that goes. And here we go. So, boom, unfreezes. He moves Weave on up, and he's like, nope, you ain't going to get me. Puts Lurantis on there so nothing else can come off. And, ah, uh, hits that ice punch. That ice punch. Whew, whew, that is going to be just trouble causing. And now, I think he makes the right move. Puts Vulpix out. Because if he comes down and attacks Vulpix, he can get clear him out. Hold him as frozen. And he realizes that he's like, oh, I need to step back. And then Blob just pushes back. And he's like, attack me, attack me. Get rid of this Vulpix. And then... And then... Sorry about that. Um, gets the freeze just here. And he can move his crew over just one spot if he wanted to. He goes for the full two. Um, I think... Which I suppose when I saw this, I was like, yep. Yeah, okay, that, that's a good play to actually get both of them down there. And now they're, they're, they're under their own little hidey hole. And... And now he just wants to lure lure him out. Oh, smart play though, the gold block. And he just swaps it out. Oh, that's yeah, not not a great. I don't know why he just did the swap then, but well, actually, he swapped so he can get the bully frozen down down by Cream. When I first saw that, I was like, why did you do that? But that is actually a super smart move. And just props to the thing, just to, to pull everything back down. He's like, ha, I've got you, you can't stop for my goal. He does it anyway, and just goes, boom, stuff that. You have now got another frozen Mon down stuck into my corner that you can't do anything about. He can pull Frostlass out, taking control of, let's see that, now this is where I think he should have moved Frostlass, Frostlass over, over Lurantis, taken it, got his Vulpix back, and pressure is on. He is now successfully holding it down, but boom, outrage, outrage strikes him. So, uh, if that was a freeze, though, he would have been frozen down there by his goal, and he would have not been getting out of that very easily. And then he probably would have stood over him with um, his uh, his little lass right there. And now he's got a force to cover goal. Can't step away with Cosmomian there. And now he's forced to retreat. And I was like, that's pretty cool. That was a cool little stretch of play. And the splash again. The splash again. Wow. He's the full heel here on Korean Wars. Like, oh. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have done that. I would have just moved up my other crew room, And then when I need to, I'm, I'm very much a player where I, when I need to, I'll pop those things. Um, and then he goes for the switch. That's a smart play again. Another super, super, super smart play. He goes for attack here. If he hits Blizzard, uh, if he hit Blizzard there, or the, the purple, we've got another Mon Frozen, and <laughs> would have been in massive trouble. So he pops the Trev out. And I think I think um, Blob could have been far more productive with his Frostlass. He's doing a, a superb, like super amazing job at swapping and controlling and board position with the Vulpix and the Creum, 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 Creum. But here, super smart. If he hits that white, if he hits white here, boom, game over. Trev can't reach goal. Vulpix can swap. Uh, opponent sees that forfeit win. So Blob, that was amazing ball control with the Vulpix, with the Cream. I think that uh, that Frostlass could have done a whole lot more work for you and freed up your minds, made you more intense pressure. But amazing match, and that's that is how you be aggressive with an ice deck. So good to see. I want to have a muck around with that, and now that feature's gone. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you all. Next time, I want to have a play around with my ice deck and see what I can do. I don't have another Krim, and I don't have Frostlass, but 
I think Suicune in Night of Ninetales is just not going to cut it. So I'm going to have a muck around with mine and see if I can hmm, sort something out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And we'll see you soon. I'm going to keep probably trying to keep Glalie in there just because Glalie, Mega Gally, I've got it. Why not use it? It's not as good as Frostlass, but let me know what you guys think and hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you all soon.